All right, so today I'm gonna be sharing my all time best purchases from Amazon in 2020. I am literally in the tree right now. So I went through everything I purchased on Amazon in 2020 and I just wanted to share the things that I found most useful, kind of different, or just made my life a little bit easier and that stood out to me and that I wanted to share. If you have seen my past Amazon favorites videos, some of these items were shared in there, but some of them also have never been shared. So if you think you know all my Amazon favorites, there are some new favorites in this video and things you've never heard me talk about before. These are in all different categories, tech, home, lifestyle, everything I talk about in today's video will be linked down below. Those are Amazon affiliate links, so I do make a very small commission anytime you purchase anything through Amazon affiliate links. If you don't want to purchase through those links, you can just search them on Amazon. Do you? It's all good. But I'm going to be kind of walking you guys through and actually showing you all of the products and how I use them and how I style them. So I thought it would be kind of different than me just like holding them up and talking about them. So let me know if you like that style of video better and I can do those moving forward in my other Amazon favorites videos. But I'll link my other Amazon favorites videos that I've done in the past down below in the description box. I'll also link my Etsy favorites video down below as well if you want to support some small businesses. Amazon is obviously super convenient and there are some great products you can find on Amazon, but it's also great to support small local businesses as well. All that is linked down below. Let's get into it. My favorite coffee edition discovery of 2020, which are glass straws. I cannot explain to you why this makes drinking iced coffee taste so much better, but just trust me on this. It does, it does something magical. We're gonna make a little iced coffee right now because why not? We can sip on it throughout the rest of this video. If you wanna pause and have a nice coffee break with me, let's do it. Cheers. Cheers to 2020, 20, what? 2021. Personally, I'm a big fan of the curved ones, but the set I'm talking about comes with curved and straight ones. And I like using the straight ones for my smoothies. Also very satisfying using these for your smoothies. And they're nice and thick. So there's wide sets and then there's more narrow ones. I personally really enjoy the wide straws. And the thing I also really love about glass straws is that obviously you can see inside them. So it makes cleaning especially nice because with metal straws you can't see inside and let me tell you there's some gunky shit in there okay <laughs> so glass straws make it really easy to clean you can see what's in there you don't get stuff stuck in there especially with COVID. you know you want to make sure everything's sanitary so it's nice that you can really see what's inside your straws people oh my god the star of the show is out of frame there we go today i'm testing out this chameleon cold brew oat milk latte with peppermint mocha flavor limited edition we'll see i already had coffee today so i'm not trying to fill it all the way up and be like bouncing off the wall right now by the way this cup is from yes style I'll link it down below Not sure how I feel about that cold brew. I feel like it needs a little something. Okay, so I have been trying to find a way to store my sunglasses and all the storage I was finding required a drawer and I am out of drawer space. And I also kind of wanted something to like fill up my closet wall right here. And I found the perfect solution that I'm obsessed with. I can see all my sunglasses. It looks cute on the wall. It's basically exactly what I was going for. It's super cheap. And I feel like everyone <laughs> needs to know about this. So this is a way to store your sunglasses. So at first I was trying to like tuck the whole thing in and then I quickly realized that's not how you do it. You just fold one side in, let the other side hang out, which is really nice because you can also see, you know, the entire sunglass really easily or you can put your glasses in. And I just think it's so cute because it's again, almost like a decor item as well. I believe they had a few color options. Okay, so I think technically I may have discovered these ones in 2019, but these, ever since I mentioned them in some video, I get asked about these so often from you guys, so I wanted to mention them again, and I use these pretty much, pretty much every day, honestly. These are the Soundcore headphones. So these are basically like AirPod dupes. So they wirelessly connect over Bluetooth, and they show you the charge when you open them up like that. So I have two out of three little bars right now, and they're, yeah, they're basically exactly like AirPods, and you can use them with your computer, your iPad, your iPhone. I just love these, and for the price, I feel like I just don't need AirPods. I feel like they're totally, worth it if you're trying to save some money you charge them down here they hold a good charge i've had mine for 
Actually, let me check when I actually purchased these. Okay, no, totally not cheating. I did order these on January 29th, 2020, so we are totally good. So I've had these pretty much exactly a year. So far, still going strong. And I bought these because of my boyfriend. He's had his over a year now, and his are also still going strong. So I totally recommend these. Some of the reviews are mixed. It seems like some people have had some issues with theirs, so just a heads up on that. But both of ours have been working great for about a year now, a little over a year, so I recommend. These are my most worn sunglasses I have bought off Amazon. These were so affordable. I love the shape of them. I feel like if you have kind of more of a round-ish face, these are really flattering just with like the angles. It gives your face like some, some more angles, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna pop in a few photos of me wearing these, but I just find them to be very flattering. I love cheap sunglasses, so I'm not worried about if I lose them. And these ones look good in photos. They're not too heavy on my face too. I find that a lot of the higher end sunglasses are very heavy. And if that bothers you, like these ones are very lightweight, so you don't have to worry about that. They have a nice little side profile as well, and they're not too big. So in 2020, I did a whole video on 10 things I no longer buy. And one of those things were dryer sheets. So instead of dryer sheets, I discovered life-changing wool dryer balls. So these came in a pack of four and basically you just reuse these. It says they are 100% New England wool, shortens drying time, eco-friendly, chemical-free, great for babies, people with sensitive skin, reduces wrinkles while drying. And I put in one and I've reused the same one for since I moved into this place now. So a couple months now, a month and a half now, I don't even know. But I'm still using the same one. And I do really feel like it cuts down on the drying time. When I first moved in, I was having to run the dryer like twice. And now one definitely does the trick. So I love these. I don't feel the need to use dryer sheets at all. And I feel like these actually help the drying time. So if you're someone who like uses dryer sheets, try using these. All right, I've raved about this coffee before. It deserves another mention because this is definitely my, not just like Amazon 2020 best coffee find, but this is like my best coffee find in general of the year. And you can find such a good deal on this on Amazon. So what I do is I put this in my cart and I've noticed that it drops down to the cheapest I've gotten it is $4 and 90 cents and it goes up pretty high. Like it gets into like the $8 range. So definitely don't buy it for that price, put it in your cart. And like I said, you can get it pretty cheap. So this is the new England coffee hazelnut cream flavor, and it doesn't have like a nasty artificial hazelnut kind of flavor, which a lot of coffees can that are that flavor. This has like a very just, rich, nice hazelnut flavor. I don't know how to explain it other than it just doesn't have that super gross fake kind of taste. It is delicious. I'm pretty sure I've repurchased this at this point about eight or nine times. I already have backups ready to go. So I'm a big fan of the Anchor brand in general. They rock. I have a few of their products and this is the Anchor 20 watt charger. So this is just the charger brick that it comes with. If you have the iPhone, especially the new one, you need to get the charger brick because if you're getting the Apple ones, those I believe are only five watt. And this is actually charging the iPhone to like the full capacity. So this basically, it says can charge your iPhone from zero to 50% in 25 minutes and that is true this thing charges your phone so friggin fast if you get this just be aware that you need to get the USB-C charger i'll link the exact one i got down below but that just means that it plugs in and fits right there and then the other end goes into your iphone i just got the silver one but i just trust anchor products so much because i've had some of their products for years now also i especially love this for my ipad because ipads are like notorious for charging so slow like so incredibly slow and this charges it so much faster you don't have to charge it like overnight now i can actually charge this during the day charge my ipad during the day and it doesn't take five million hours so that's great 
Okay, so next up is this hair waver tool. And this is what initially got me into hair wavers. I have two that I really love. This one from Amazon and this guy from Bondi Boost. This one gives you a little bit more of like a bigger wave. It's also a little bit heavier, something to know. I could do like a whole video on these two compared. If you guys would wanna see that, let me know down below. But this one from Amazon is the first one that I bought and it's what really got me into this like wavy hairstyle that is literally all I've been doing pretty much in the better half of 2020. And by better half, I mean the later half. Is there a better half? I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, well, actually, yes, there was a better half the first half. Anyways. Okay, someone is blowing leaves outside, so hopefully this mic is not picking up on that. It's a lav mic, which I never film with, and uh, we'll see how it sounds. Let me know how this audio is down below. But anyways, I love both of them. This one is a little bit cheaper, and it is a little bit lighter, but like I said, they give you slightly of a different look, but both of them I recommend. This one I love from Amazon. I just friggin' love this hairstyle. It's so easy and just gives you that really natural, like wavy, beachy kind of look. Okay, so I'm not sure if I'm keeping this in this exact position here. I'm probably not before I had it on my coffee cart. If you're new here, I just moved into a new apartment. I have moving vlogs. I'll link my few down below that I've done so far, but I have just had it here temporarily because I'm testing out a new pour over coffee thing. So I wanted it, oh my God. What is making so much noise right now? I was testing out a new like pour over coffee thing, so I wanted it close to that. Anyways, probably not staying right in this exact position. If it does, I'm gonna get like a black cord cover, so it's just kind of more like sleek looking. However, a definite favorite of 2020 Amazon purchases is this Kasori black water kettle. This thing it is a very cool and just like modern looking. Let me kind of move the salt and pepper shakers out so you can really see the sleek design here, folks. Love how it looks. It's just beautiful, like sitting on your kitchen countertop or if you have a coffee cart, it just looks so pretty. It's almost like its own decor piece. But I've had this for a while now. I wanna say like at least six months. I love it. So let me show you the buttons on here. So besides just being obviously very pretty to look at, it's actually super functional and actually works really well. And the design is just like on point. So you have different tea and coffee settings. You have a boil black setting and you can hold the temp, which is really useful. So I find myself using this for basically everything except these two because I'm not like super picky with my teas. I usually use the 195 setting, the coffee, the boil black and the whole temp. So I use this about 50 times a day for my hot pack. I use like a, a hot water bottle for my neck. So I boil black and then I use the hold temp a lot. But I love that there's the hold temp option because if you've ever boiled water and then like totally forgot about it, you know it's kind of annoying to like come back and then you have to reboil it. So it's really nice that by default, I just hit like tea and then hold the temp. So if I forget about it, it stays hot. I also really love that as you can see, the spout on here is really small. So if you're pouring, this might be for like a super small subset of people, but if you're pouring into a hot water bottle, like I do, like a, you know, like a heat pack kind of thing, you're not gonna burn yourself. I have burned myself so many times previously pouring a kettle, which is a bigger spout. Like I burned my hands, my boyfriend has, my mom has trying to heat it up for me. So this, because the spout is so small, you can easily pour into a hot water bottle. So you're not gonna hopefully burn yourself. So I just love this thing, super functional, super pretty. So it is not nighttime when I'm filming this, so it's not gonna look quite as impressive, but one of my favorite discoveries of 2020 were these color changing bulbs I got off Amazon. So it comes with this remote. There's tons of different settings that you can use on here. As you can see, there's like just the basic colors, but then there's also like these wild, if you wanna get wild and have a party settings, you know what I'm saying? You turn it on right here. This is my go-to, the purple. On camera, light flickers. In real life, it's not flickering at all. That's just what you guys are seeing. But I love the purple at night. I just find this so relaxing. I turn this on every single night. I also love the green. 
Here's the blue. I love the blue too. Red stresses me out. I know a lot of people love red for whatever reason. It really stresses me out. But I love these because I, I don't want it like hooked up to my phone. I really like just having the remote. You could also put it on a timer, but I have one of these in my living room too. It's just like good vibes at night when you're relaxing, trying to wind down. I love these. I've raved about these before. Okay, so I have this little diffuser here that I got years ago off of Amazon. So this isn't the thing I'm talking about, but it is part of it. This is my diffuser, but in here I keep my diffuser oils just so that they're hidden. And I also have actually the cord and stuff hidden in here, but this is my 2020 Discovery. Oh my gosh, you guys. This diffuser oil smells like a fancy, fancy hotel. I know I've explained it that way before, but it's like when you walk into a hotel lobby and you can't put your finger on what the smell is, but you want it in your house, that's what this smells like. If you get this and you sniff it out of here and you're like, hmm, I don't know about that, don't uh, judge it based on that because that's exactly what I did. But when you actually diffuse it, it smells completely different. It just smells so fresh and so clean and so fancy. So basically I just put a couple drops into here and then I start it. My diffuser, like I said, is pretty old and makes some questionable sounds right when it starts, but then it works fine. So I'm not gonna replace it yet because I feel like it's totally fine. But I will link my actual diffuser down below as well if you like the look of that. <laughs> Sounds like it's about to take off. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Okay, so moving on over to my desk. This is my Logitech keyboard. And I never really thought to like purchase a separate keyboard other than the one that came with my Mac computer. And the thing that makes my life so much easier about using this keyboard is that over here, as you can see, there's a one, two, three, these gray buttons. And if you're someone who frequently uses your iPad or your phone, the thing that is friggin' amazing about this is that all you do is click these and they light up and you can switch between different devices for typing. So I'm someone who frequently uses my iPad and I do a lot of notes on there and I keep my iPad on my desk when I'm working. And so what I can do is switch between typing on different devices. So I can click one and I can type directly on my computer. And then if I'm making a list on my iPad, instead of having to like click with my finger on the iPad and then like switch and kind of get sidetracked and just like take more time, I can just hit the number two button and easily type directly on my iPad, hit the one, switch back, type on the computer. It is so easy, you guys. It makes your workflow so much faster, so much more streamlined and I love it. I'm so happy I got this and discovered this. If you're someone who likes really clicky keyboards, it's not silent, but it's not like extremely clicky. It's, I would say it's about the same as the Apple keyboards when it comes to that. Super happy with this purchase and you can also use it with your phone. So even if you don't have an iPad, if you hate typing on your iPhone, which I do, I despise typing on my iPhone, I don't know what it is, but even just for that, it's super nice and you don't have to use it on your desk. Like I'll take my iPad or phone into the filming room with the keyboard and because it's Bluetooth, it's all wireless. You can just easily take this in at super light and then just, you know, use it in other rooms. Okay, so speaking of iPad stands, I have two and one I was using towards the beginning of the year and I just wanted to mention this other one because it is so much better and I feel like everyone needs to know about this other iPad stand because it is, it is incredible. So this was my old one right here. And basically it's just kind of, you know, standard iPad stand. You can move it and you can adjust it to an extent, but this one right here, this guy is a friggin' beast that everyone needs to know about, okay? So the cool thing about this is obviously that it folds down completely flat. So for not just traveling, but just for like moving around, wherever you live for, you know, going between places. If you're someone who likes to work from a coffee shop, obviously not now, but it's just so nice and compact. But not only that, you can get so many different angles out of this. I personally like to use my iPad for also not just working, but for watching YouTube videos like in bed. And you can get so many different angles with this than you can with the other iPad stand. So let me show you. Okay, so starting flat, you can fold up 
like this. It has a nice pad right here for your iPad. You can basically bend it literally pretty much ang any angle you want it. So you can have it sit like fully flat on the desk, which the other stand can't do. But then going from here, you can also completely flip it and basically go like that, which is how I do it if I'm in bed and do like that kind of angle. There's just literally so many different angles. You can play around with it, see what works best for you and like your pillow situation or your desk situation. There's also a few different colors in this one. There's like a pinkish rose gold one, which is really cute. There's a lighter silver color. And then I got the dark one because I kind of like the contrast of this one on my desk. All right, next we have this power strip, which is kind of like, okay, a power strip. But the cool thing is obviously this is a much prettier looking power strip than most power strips tend to be. And this comes in different wood tones. So the idea is that it kind of like blends in with whatever wood flooring you have. I got this in my old place and my wood floors there were a little bit closer to the color of this, but I think this is such a good idea. And I love that you get the two USB ports here and then the three power outlets here. Power strips are just one of those things that are like such an eyesore. So if you don't want to have this ruining your whole aesthetic in your home going on, you know, these could help the situation out. All right, and the last thing is a little bit tricky to show, so I'm probably just gonna pop in the photo of the Amazon page, like the model, but it's the perfect hair care towel. And I got this, I believe, like pretty early on in 2020, and I've been using it ever since, and this is not like a normal hair wrap towel. It's not a towel material. It's like a silky, let me just read what they actually say. So it's a microfiber hair towel wrap. And the idea with this is that it's supposed to be anti-frizz and fast drying. And I fully agree with that. No matter how you're styling your hair, wavy, straight, this cuts down on the drying time for me and the frizz. I swear by this thing, I don't even put a normal towel anywhere near my hair now. I like cringe at that idea now because this thing has made such a difference with the frizz on my hair and I also love that it's very lightweight on my neck so if that's like a factor for you this is super nice for that it just ties right here with the little scrunchy thing and I yeah I swear by this I have a few other like towel hair towel wrap kind of products and honestly I don't even use them because this one is so much better than any of the other ones so I just solely use this one it's totally worth it and highly recommend so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video got some new ideas let me know what your favorite products that you purchased on Amazon this year were or last year whenever this video is going up but everything I talked about will be linked down below in the description box along with my past Amazon videos if you want to check out those as well but I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. Oh my god. Trying to get a thumbnail here.